guys welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash today i have two new products from one size beauty this is their collaboration with the broadway play wicked i thought these looked really interesting and i cannot wait to dive into them let's take a peek first at the wicked ultimate eye and face palette so when I bought this, I thought it was just an eye palette. I did not realize, and here is the cover story, so you can, guys can look at that, but I didn't realize we were getting two blushes there at the bottom. I thought that we were going to be getting just full-on eyeshadows, and that's why I already applied my one-size blush. Oops, but I'll swatch them out. You guys will see the swatches. You probably already saw them, but um, that way you can see what they look like, and I'll definitely try and use these blushes in another upcoming uh, Get Ready With Me style of video. I could not resist the highlighter. The highlighter just looks so good, and we're going to apply that on camera right now. What does it say? De uh, Defy Gravity cool i love it the eyeshadow the face palette retails for 48 49 dollars and this one the highlighter is 34 dollars i believe right now i believe it's in store and online at sephora so i'll have my affiliate sephora link in the description box in case you want to shop through there or maybe you're going to wait and shop the sephora sale that would not be a great idea if the quality on this palette is really good. I've never tried one size um, eyeshadows before. I have pretty much a full face of uh, one size beauty on right now. I love their setting spray, their setting powder. I'm using their BB cream right now, their blush, their bronzer. There's a lot of good in this brand, but I have yet to try anything like eyeshadow palette wise. So I am hoping that this is going to be a winner. If it is your first time here on my channel, let me just introduce myself. Hello there. My name is Steph. I clearly love makeup. I love trying all the latest and greatest in makeup. I'm primarily a new makeup review channel, but I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup breaking videos, all that good stuff. If that sounds great to you, I want to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button hit the bell next to it that way you can be notified every time i do drop a new video and if you're a fan of one size and maybe you're a fan of the broadway show wicked please give this video a big thumbs up before you go and as i earlier mentioned everything will be linked and listed in the description box some of those links might be affiliate links so if you do end up shopping i thank you so so much for supporting me and my channel let's dive on into it guys i'm only gonna have time for two looks today getting ready to head out to work but we're gonna apply the highlighter first and then we're going to start creating the eye looks. If you guys want to see this new One Size and Wicked collaboration collection in action, keep on watching. All right, so let's dive into the Define Gravity Highlighter. It looks like it's going to be a real pretty gold highlighter. I am taking this on my AOA Studio F19. And I'm using one of Patrick's new blushes. Do I have it up here? Yes, I have it right here. It's this one right here. This one is in the shade uh, Gourley Pop. Gourley Pop. It's like, what does that say? Gourley Pop. Oh, this is smooth. Ooh, this is beautiful. I like that. You know what I could do is grab one of the blushes that's in the palette just to pat over it. That's usually what I do every time I apply highlighter, but that is smooth. There is no glitter particles in this highlighter. That looks really nice. And I have a blemish right there. So we're highlighting, highlighting the pimple. Fabulous. The only highlighters I've ever tried from one size are the ones that he puts in these cheek trio palettes. And they're usually like the same color of the blush. But this one is beautiful, beautiful. So I'm going to go in now to the face palette and I am going to do, let's see, which one has a little bit more, I think this is a little bit lighter. So I'm going to do this one, Toss Toss. And I'm just going to get my BK 112 and just use a little bit of that to press in, buff in with the highlighter. Nothing intense to where I'm adding a lot more pigment because I already had enough pigment on my cheeks, but you get the idea. Okay, guys, so now we're going to dive into the rest of the face palette. Look at all of these beautiful shades, greens, browns, and blues. 
beautiful color combination. Stunning. And I'm wearing all black today, so any look I choose is definitely going to go. What I'm thinking of doing first is packing this shade Wizard and I all over the lid, using this as a brow bone, and then using this to maybe either blend in the crease or bring this down to the lower lash line and try to do all of these three on the lid and inner corner and lower inner corner. I think we can do it. Let's see what we can come up with. I'm starting with Wizard and Eye first. And I did prime my eyelids with the Beauty Bay eyeshadow primer. And to apply, I'm using the Refer 01 Max Brush which by the way, Refer is having another incredible sale, 40% off site-wide, everything is on sale. You guys have seen me use <clears throat> my Refer brushes for years, years. So I will put that in a pinned comment and I'm gonna try and get a graphic up sometime today in the community section as well as over on Instagram, but as always, all of my affiliate links and codes and everything are always in the description box of all my videos. Well, this is looking a little more blue than I thought, which is not a big deal, but I am going to go in with that other shade just to kind of blend a little bit better into the crease. I'm taking the shade Wicked on the Sigma E24. There we go. Just to kind of blend this little area a bit better. Maybe create a little bit of a gradient effect. Just gonna add a little bit of the first shade back. So now we're going to be working, I'm going to be working with these two shades and I'm going to start with Flying Free and then go into this one, Anessa Rose. I have a feeling that on its own, the shade would just be beautiful on top of this. Like it could just be the shade and the matte and that's it. Wow, that is going to be a smoky, smoky eye. Love the sparkle in that one. I'm getting some fallout though. Going in with a refer 13 just to blend a bit better between the shimmer and matte. Now with that same brush, I'm picking up the shade Wicked, which was the lighter green. That looks really pretty. I like that. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the shade with my finger. I'm going to pop that right here in the center. Ooh, now, if this is not a smoky eye, then I don't know what is. But that looks so beautiful. Love it. Now on a BK pencil brush, I'm going in with that bone shade called Eyes Meet. Just to add along the brow bone, kind of define it a bit better. Now with that same brush, I'm going to go back in with the shade Wicked. And that's what we're going to use for the lower lash line. So I'm not going to take it all the way through. I'm going to stop about right there. That way we can add the green shimmer towards the bottom. Now I'm going in with the shade Emerald Cut, same brush, but I did spray it. That is so pretty. Yay, I love it. All right guys, I'm gonna take care of the finishing touches off camera. I will be using my one size mascara. I'll be right back to show you this completed look number one. Okay guys, so here is the completed look number one. I went ahead and add a falsie on top of the one size mascara. Where are they? These are the falsies that I added in the shade uh, or the style pearl earring and they are from Kiss, the new natural effortless minimal look. I've really been loving these uh, this line of lashes. Um, for the top lash line, Wet n Wild Break Proof Liquid Liner. For the lower waterline, a NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner. This one is in the shade 
Mm, it's giving jade and I love the way this look turned out. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. Okay, so for look number two, we'll come to this side of the palette and I love these browns and blues together, although I might still be tempted to go over here. Um, I am going to start up here. This one is Galinda. And I'm gonna do that like in the inner corner and in the crease, and then I'm gonna work into proper pose. Is it proper pose? Yeah, proper pose, and then wizard and eye most likely. Here I'm using my BK Beauty 10. Oh my god, <laughs> E01. <laughs> I'm not even BK. Game Beauty E01 eyeshadow brush. Oh my goodness, just. Got so confused there for a second. Do I need to turn down my ring light? Are you all seeing the colors? I feel like the ring light is drowning out. Let me see. Maybe that's a little better for you guys to see the colors, or did I turn it down too much? <laughs> it's always hard to get the lighting perfect. I think I turned it down a little too much. Okay, hopefully that's a better balance. This is a nice blue shade. You can never go wrong with a shade like this in a palette, especially a palette that has blues and greens. Now I'm taking that brown shade on a rougher 15 proper poise. See how beautiful brown and blue are together? I love it. You are gonna get some kick up in the pan. And that just could be the type of brush that you're using, but still be careful because some of the shades around the darker shades are lighter shades and you want to just kind of blow off that excess so it doesn't um, mess with the lighter like bone shade or white shade or whatever it is. I feel like I need to blend this brown a little bit better up here. All right, now I'm going to go back in with Wizard and I over here. I'm going to use that just to kind of blend this a little bit better. I don't know why I'm not liking the way that brown is blending, but maybe the shade can help. Maybe it's just my eye. My eyes were like really itchy and watery last night, so perhaps that has something to do with it. Now I'm going to use the shade right here, Tender Heart, for the brow bone. I'm going in with a refer 26. Not completely sold yet at what I'm going to do for the lower lash line. I think I'm going to go back in with this one. You know what? Let's just do that. Let's do that one right now. That way we can start playing with some of these beautiful shimmer shadows. I'm going to take it on my refer 26. Really kind of try and just build up that shade. Okay. So next, I'm going to go in with this beautiful blue shade called Ball Gown. And I'm using my Morphe M709 to apply, and I did spray the brush. I'm going to leave the inner corner free. Now I'm going to go in with this white shade right here called Bubble. I'm going to spray the brush again. I just spray it with a little Matte Fix Plus. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm going to use the only shade that I have not used yet, which is Flirt and Flounce. This one right here on the inner corner of the lower lash line. And I'm using my Game Beauty E09. I did spray the brush. I think that looks pretty. All right, guys, I'm going to go apply the falsies, take care of the finishing touches. I'll be right back to show you this completed look number two, and I'm so excited that I got to use all but one blush shade, this one over here, in this Wicked palette from One Size Beauty. All right, guys, so here is the completed look number two. I think it came together. I was having a little bit of difficulty blending right there, but you know what? Maybe I just need to trim my eyebrows? Trees? I don't know. <laughs> 
I don't know, but I like the way the look turned out. I love the blue and brown combination. Um, same everything with the exception of the lower waterline, a ColourPop cream gel liner. Can you guess what shade it is? It's not a shade that I use very often because I just got it, but it's a shade Angelica uses very often. It's in the shade Prance, and I love that I was able to pick this up. I love that ColourPop brought it back. But this is the entire collection. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, so um, this Wicked and One Size collaboration, there was only one thing that I didn't get to pick up, actually two things, a brush and the One Size setting spray, Until Dawn setting spray, which we'll apply some right now. Love this stuff. But he came out with one of these with uh, glitter particles in it and I was like no way no how no glitter on this face but just give me the regular one size until dawn setting mist because I think it is such a good one let's talk about the highlighter this is the define gravity highlighter so smooth a pale gold smooth highlighter who doesn't need one of these in their stash I love it. Love it. I think it blended out so well with the blush. Now let's talk about the face and eyeshadow palette, which both of these are available right now on Sephora and most likely on the one size uh, website as well. You get a side that's a little more green and darker, dramatic, and then you get the lighter side, of course, which is um, more of the baby blues, the lighter browns, and you can see the variance in the blush shades as well. I think they did a beautiful job. I think the shadows did perform really well. I'll go back with the blue and uh, not the blue, but the brown, and I'll try to see if I can make it work with another look. But overall, I think the packaging is really cute. I like how it opens as a book. This is in stock right now. It retails for either $48 or $49, and the highlighter is, I believe, $34. <laughs> Sister is dropping stuff up here on the vanity, but these are the two looks I created. Which look do you think I'm going to be heading to work in? Do you think I'm going to go to work in look number one or look number two? Sound off in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.